Moldova's pro-Western president Maya Sandu has won a second term in a pivotal presidential runoff against a Russia-friendly opponent, in a race that was overshadowed by claims of Russian interference, voter fraud, and intimidation in the European Union candidate country. With nearly 99% of votes counted in the second round of the presidential election held Sunday, Sandu had 55% of the vote, according to the Central Electoral Commission, or CC, compared to 45% for Alexander Stoyanoglu, a former prosecutor general who was backed by the pro-Russia party of socialists. The result will be a major relief for the pro-Western government, which strongly backed Sandu's candidacy, and her push for closer Western ties on Moldova's path toward the EU. Today, dear Moldovans, you have given a lesson in democracy, worthy of being written in history books. Today, you have saved Moldova, Sandu said after claiming victory after midnight. She went on to claim that her country's vote had faced an unprecedented attack through alleged schemes including dirty money, vote buying, and electoral interference by hostile forces from outside the country and criminal groups. When polls closed locally at 9 p.m., turnout stood at more than 1.68 million people, about 54% of eligible voters, according to the CEC. Moldova's large diaspora, which cast ballots in record numbers of more than 325,000 voted, heavily in favor of Sandu in the runoff. In the first round held October 20th, Sandu obtained 42% of the ballot but failed to win an outright majority over the second-place Stoyanoglu. The presidential role carries significant powers in areas such as foreign policy and national security and has a four-year term. European Union Commission President Ursula von der Leyen congratulated Sandu on her victory, by writing on X, it takes a rare kind of strength to overcome the challenges you faced in this election. Azi, dragi moldoveni, ați oferit o lecție de democrație demnă de a fi scrisă în manualele de istorie. Azi voi ați salvat Moldova. În alegerea noastră pentru un viitor demn nu a pierdut nimeni. Libertatea, adevărul și dreptatea au învins. Moldova a reușit să își arate voința și puterea prin votul fiecăruia dintre noi. Am dovedit că uniți reușim să învingem pe cei care voiau să ne îngenuncheze. Ești noastră mai dat. Moldova a fost sub un atac fără precedent pentru istoria întregii Europe. Bani murdari, cumpărare ilegală de voturi, implicarea în procesele electorale a unor forțe ostile din afara țării și a unor grupări criminale, minciuni, inducerea urii și a fricii în societatea noastră. Poporul nostru s-a unit, iar libertatea și cetățenii au câștigat. Din nou, că Moldova bate în lor. Aerial scouts of the 2nd Battalion under Ukrainian Armed Forces 101st Brigade have intercepted Russian army soldiers who wanted to rotate in a wooded area near the village of Storitsa in Kharkiv region. As a result of artillery and drone strikes, most of the invaders in the area were killed. 
Although the surviving servicemen tried to evacuate their fellow soldiers from the area with a stretcher, they themselves became targets of the drones. With this, the movement in the position was blocked and the arrival of new soldiers in the area was prevented.